many centuries ago when Mexico's Aztecs fermented the juice of the agave plant to produce a low alcohol drink called pulque. When the Spanish conquistadors arrived, they added distillation to the process for a much stronger drink, and tequila was born. Tequila is to Mexico as champagne is to France. Tequila is only made in this part of the world, and Mexico has claimed exclusive rights to the word tequila. For centuries, workers called jimadores have grown and harvested the agave plant for tequila. It takes seven years on average for a species called Weber blue agave to mature. Even today, it's harvested entirely by hand. Using a lethally sharp, hoe-like tool, the jimadores chop away the greenery until all that's left is the huge core called the piña. Filing the round blade frequently keeps it razor sharp, allowing them to remove most of the bitter-tasting leaves from the piña. The tequila distilled from this crop will be a premium grade, made from 100% agave juice. The jimadores routinely remove a small piece and measure the starch content of the crop. Only if it's deemed to be sufficient is the agave piña sent to the distillery. Workers wield special hatchets to carve the huge piñas into quarters. They're a more manageable size for baking. They transfer the chopped piña to a brick oven where it's steam baked for 79 hours. This thorough cooking converts the agave's starch to sugar. In the process, the flesh softens and the color turns from white to reddish brown. The baked agave piña now spills into a shredder that rotates to tear the fruit into long, thin fibers. The fibers exit onto a conveyor. The shredded piña lands in a pit where a worker forks it up and moves it into the path of a huge stone wheel called a tahona. Operated mechanically, the tahona wheel turns to crush the fibers and squeeze out the precious agave nectar. It takes two hours of crushing to extract all the juices. They pipe the juicy mash into wooden tanks and add yeast. The yeast causes fermentation, a process by which sugar is transformed into alcohol. After 72 hours of fermentation, the alcohol content reaches 5%. The fermented pulp and juices have an earthy, acidic bouquet and the aroma fills the air. They transfer the fermented mash to small copper stills. Inside the stills, the alcohol is boiled off and the vapor condensed into a more potent liquid. This is called distillation. After two distillation cycles, they have tequila. A technician measures the alcohol content and it's 55%. After straining out the pulp, they transfer the tequila to steel tanks. They add purified well water to dilute the alcohol content and bring it down to 40%. This tequila is now ready to drink, so it's over to the bottling line. With the bottles upside down on a revolving carousel, they spray the inside with real tequila for a quick rinse. The grippers flip them right side up so they can be filled with 100% agave tequila. This automated system keeps the fill level precise. An employee corks the bottles and then sends them down the line. The next worker presses adhesive-backed transparent labels onto them. The see-through labels showcase the clarity of this fresh premium tequila. For a drink with a little more complexity, they age the tequila in oak casks for two months or more, depending on the grade. During aging, the tequila takes on a woody flavor and turns a warm shade of amber. The master distiller personally approves each batch. He checks the color, inhales the aroma, and puts his observations down on paper. He also takes a little sip. No longer a rough swill for banditos, tequila has gone uptown and evolved into a more sophisticated drink. <laughs>